Monday, June 17, 2019. Pompeo says the U.S. is considering a range of options. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said Sunday that the U.S. is, quote, considering a full range of options regarding rising tensions with Iran, including military options, but emphasized that President Donald Trump has said that he does not want to go to war. Uh, we continuously update option sets for the president. Uh, we've taken a handful of those actions to increase the opportunity to convince Iran that these actions aren't in their best interest. Iranian Parliament Speaker Ali Larjani said that the U.S. may have carried out, quote, acts of sabotage against two oil tankers in the Sea of Oman to blame them on Iran and pressure Tehran. We are confident that we can take a set of actions that can restore deterrence, which is our mission set. Hong Kong citizens marched for hours Sunday in a massive protest that drew a late-in-the-day apology from the city's top leader. The Saudi Crown Prince has warned against exploiting the murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi for political gains. Israel approved a new community named after Donald Trump on a contested frontier zone with Syria, but construction looked likely to lag given Netanyahu's political stumbles. Trump says he will roll out new health care plan in next couple of months. President Trump said he'll be rolling out a new health care plan in a couple of months, saying it will be a key focus in his 2020 re-election campaign. We had support with the Democrats. While the president has acknowledged that no plan would be voted on in Congress until 2021, he is gambling that putting out a plan will negate some of the advantage Democrats have on the issue. We're putting the people back in charge with more choice for better care at a far lower cost. People fleeing economic hardship and human rights abuses in African countries are coming to the U.S.-Mexico border in unprecedented numbers. As measles continues to spread in the U.S., the outbreaks are exacting a hefty toll on local and state health departments, draining resources and siphoning health care workers from other needs. Chuck Schumer said the Federal Aviation Administration should require that all helicopters be outfitted with the same sort of black boxes that record flight information and cockpit conversations. Pennsylvania man arrested in connection with fire in home of Brooklyn rabbi. A Pennsylvania man reportedly has been arrested in connection with a fire in the home of a Brooklyn rabbi that investigators suspect was an arson attack. The man was arrested by officers from the New York Police Department at about 1.30 a.m. on Sunday and charged with two counts of attempted murder and one count of arson. Thirteen people, including a six-week-old baby, were injured in the early Friday morning fire. The progressive effort to issue driver's licenses to undocumented immigrants has been met with backlash from the suburbs. A man snatched someone's phone and hurled it at an oncoming train because he was being recorded spewing anti-Semitic slurs. Vaccinations have been made mandatory this summer for campers and staff in several counties north of New York City.